growing up with the disability was very challenging. One of the probably biggest challenges for my husband and I with Ruthann is the availability of resources. Um, locally where we live, it, that's just not possible. And so it requires a lot of commute and time management and time off work to be able to provide Ruthann with the services that she needs. The challenges were, you know, uh, more so with the cooking because I don't have a full function of my left arm and hand. It's hard to, you know, cut vegetables, peel potatoes, you know, anything that requires both of both sides of, of my my body. I had to purchase a add-on to my wheelchair and where the chair could literally lift up to six inches, so about five feet, and that way I can grab you know, stuff off like the top shelf. I had to pay almost uh, four grand for that piece. And that's not covered by the government. Being disabled is expensive. Being disabled is expensive. One of us did go down to a casual position, which of course adds the financial strain of everything. I have uh, attendant booking set up throughout the day, but like in between that, I'm alone, so like if I suddenly have to pee, I have to wait till my next booking. If I drop something, I have to wait till my next booking. If I want to go somewhere and change something, like it's, it's difficult for spontaneity to occur. You have to pre-plan everything. Independence gives you the freedom to do whatever you need to do. So I think knowledge is something that is lacking when you enter the world of special needs. I think it's often very scary in the beginning and you have no idea where to turn. You have no idea where to access anything. A truly inclusive and accessible society is one where Ruthann's differences and abilities do not exclude her from her world around her. Just allowing her that chance to be a four-year-old. I would like to see that change, definitely. Like, you know, where where we are welcomed into workplaces with our, our abilities. I see myself being a recreational therapist and competing for the Paralympics. To be able to see that there's a time that I could wake up on a Sunday morning, get up, have my cup of tea, and be like, sitting looking out the window and being like, wow, I have money in the bank and I have people who care about me and I'm stable enough to not have to worry about whether I'm gonna have food on the table or rent next month. I wanna contribute to society as much as I can. When it comes to disabilities, people have the right to dream, to, to succeed, 